Hi everyone. This video is the third video about the suburb committee. We'll be discussing about the nomination committee. What is the nomination committee do? So the, we first look at the composition of the nomination committee, which should be consists of majority independent non-executive, which means it could be including those of the non-independent non-executive director. Because it is involving in deciding what are the suitable candidate to be appointed as the future executive director. So the first thing they do is actually recruiting the director that is necessary in order for the company to achieve your objective. So what is the company objective we should see? So for example, the company in the future will want to penetrate another market. So they, another market which means in another country. So they may need to recruit some of the director that is reflecting the local one which means the local director, they need to recruit, which is suitable qualification, skill, knowledge, and all this, everything they need to know about. Because it will help the company to pursue the relevant strategy in order to achieve the objective. So these are all the work done by the nomination committee. The second thing they will be involving is training the director in order to update the director with the latest changes in the economic factor, any technological and social factor, Potentially any legal framework changes also, for example, introducing any new law in the marketplace. They need to be updated. At the same time, need to minimizing the knowledge gap between the director. Sometimes they may need to conduct some of the induction training for the new non-executive director which is coming to the company in order to minimize the to minimize what is the culture shock of Sometimes need to make them familiarize with the culture and the colleague they are working on and the environment the entity is operating in, which is very important in order to shorten the, the learning curve of the director, to make them more less deep. Why? Because the director themselves actually, the entity actually is a part-time director, they may not be have so much time privilege as a executive director sitting on the board having the time to familiarize themselves with the environment. So the third thing they will be about is evaluating the performance of the executive director. After appointing them, giving them training, so we must evaluate whether they are actually performing up to the par performance target set by the nomination committees just now. So if they cannot perform what they should do, they should be involving in terminating them if they are not performance, breaching the contract, or involving in any malpractices within the company that will damage the reputation of the company also. On top of that, if if the current director is very good but really very old, so what they are involving? They are involving in succession planning, selecting the suitable candidate which will be replacing the future CEO for example in order to ensure there is a smooth running and minimize any disruption should the should the very caliber chief executive officer will be retired in the future or maybe a potential sudden death don't know so these are basically their work so both of these nomination committee and nomination committee will work together hand in hand for the nomination committee will be involving in selecting the suitable candidate for the nomination committee to decide their nomination policy so these are the work done by the nomination committee that's all thank you